I can say he was one of my teacher. But my paintings are creative. As you see, my figures are very different from others. And also I have brought something new. These figures, well, they are not correct, but my intention is not to draw a nice art, but to show the actions of my paintings. In this age, uh, I'm not in the sense of looking for money. I'm in the sense of improving only my work because I have sent it to many different countries, European countries, even far east like Japan. That's why I'm happy and I'm enjoying up to now because I'm now known all over the world and I'll leave my name on earth. Mm. The candid poetry of Tinga Tinga is inspired by Tanzanians' natural beauty. This love of nature also appears in the work of Tanzanian famous printmaker Francis Manjama. I born in Zanzibar, 1959. I finished school in Dar es Salaam. Now I live in Dar es Salaam. To be an artist, I joined with Goethe Institute, Dar es Salaam. And then we meet with Sister Jean. She took me to join Nyumba Sana House of Art. In Nyumba Sana, we attend some like a w w workshop together with Lobino and Joji Liranga. And from that, I, I specialize slowly in etching. Yeah. But still doing with uh, sometime with watercolor and pencil drawing, oil. But now I like it very, very much, etching prints. Uh, after studying with uh, Christina Stoma, is uh, German women, and then Yumba Sana, they uh, give a chance to attend a class, etching class in Salzburg, Austria. One time people, they uh, appreciate my works they give me a uh, chance also to, to prepare uh, some exhibition. They invite me to join exhibition or some workshop. For etching is long process to, to say. We take uh, many, many uh, steps. But uh, watercolor is, uh, is simple. We have a sketch and then transfer to the paper, special paper for watercolor. People, they ask me, why you, are, you draw animals? I like it, animal to, to draw animals. But also one time, long time, I start with people, village, yeah. And in German, they have a special order for animals. In, in Vienna, we produce books for children with one friend, I told you one friend from South Africa. Mm -hmm. And then last year, also in Germany, we make another second book also for children. To be artist in Tanzania is tough. <laughs> it's too difficult. <laughs> we need, uh, we need, uh, Money, I have a family. Exactly. So, yeah, I have a family. So, to sell our work is very important mm -hmm. because it's my life. Of yeah. Another strong tradition which has become a popular art movement in Tanzania is wood sculpture. Our Makonda sculptures are recognized as some of the finest covers in the world. For the Makonde tribe from southern Tanzania, carving is a way of life. From childhood, Makonde boys are initiated into the art of wood carving. Makonde are responsible for carving many of the things that we use every day. Stools, doors, leathers, handles and ceremony masks. But a few of our sculptors have transformed the ordinary and taken their skills to another level, producing masterpieces of modern art. I was born in Mtwara. In 1948, 
tribe. My father and, and mother is all Makonde tribe. I learned carving, not because my family was, you know, a woodcarver family. Conditions forced me to learn carving, but since I was not really interested in carving, but to earn my bread, I, I have to try to do the best in carving. That's why I'm a good carver. People say so, but I, well, I'm not quite sure that I'm, I'm one of them. <laughs> this style which I have, I'm using up to this moment is according to the media itself, to the wood itself. Instead of forcing forms in a wood, the wood itself is, is deformed, deformed, you know. So I have, I use my chisel to go around the deform deformation. Maybe from there I can get an idea which was not in my mind, but it, was, it is there naturally in the wood itself. If you look carefully at any particular piece of wood for a long time, you can see a projection as a horn, an eye. You see, it's from there that you can just make a horn, whether you like it or not. For instance, here you, you could make a big horn, a rhino horn. What? So you can shape it round, you see, twisting round like a rope, you know, to make a horn out of it. Mine is almost abstract. It's, in fact, you know, basically it's abstract work. I had my own ideas when I was working on the carving. But uh, you looking at the, same, at the same carving of mine, you should conceive your own ideas as you look at it. And someone else will have a different idea on the same particular piece of wood, piece of carving. Uh, this one, I know what I, I, I have in mind, you see, after finishing. You know, in our tribe, we have our local traditional beliefs. So when you have a neighbor, he can steal the crops from your farm magically to his farm, and then at the end, by, by the harvest season, you reap nothing at all, you simply reap husks. It, I do know, I do not know whether it's the truth or what, but these people, we believe it like that. So we have to implore to this spirit that it, he guards the farm against the people who might do an arms to, to your farm. You know, people, the local people, they don't understand, especially, the, you know, these arts. Yeah, it, it will come a time when people will realize what we are doing. Maybe, maybe people from abroad, they like to know us through our culture and traditions. Even in my village, maybe people do not know what I'm doing. Forget about Tanzania. In my village, people not, do not know what type of, of carvings I, I, I make. <laughs> I carve to get bread, you know. I sell and get paid for my job. But in fact, I don't really sometimes feel like selling it. I love to see my, 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 my carvings myself. I'd like to retain the carvings in my place, you see. But conditions forced me to sell. That's why I said, well, I'd like to be a cover for the rest of my life. I like my job, in fact. I like it so much. I always think the most exciting work comes from young artists who are, you could say, making a history as we speak here in Tanzania, a new wave of artists is coming in. Kitogo. Art is everywhere. And art is everything. There is no life without art. Shogoro. I, I discovered that there's, there's some sort of very innermost senses that it's you who are doing that. So you'll end up automatically that you'll end up with having a, 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 a sense of meaning. Chilonga. I mean, when we continue to, I mean, that to make sure that our culture doesn't disappear, it means that we are going to get successful. You know, you know. In my dream, I know that world without artists, it means that it's just like nothing. <laughs>